Watch Danny's first. song at this point during that initial drop or that second or that second drop alignment there was a little bit off that was pretty good not bad not bad all right let's look at uh Night shift. Trouble double double. Hmm. Clean curves there. Trouble double double. Odd decision to go into tutting. In the beginning, but he's not committing, which is good. Keeping it symmetrical is fine. Okay, 
That was a funny part of the music. thought that in terms of musicality um i thought that in terms of musicality night shift actually uh matched the music more compared to danny in danny's initial drop there was kind of like a like a, a, a lack of intensity there's a lack of intensity in the drop I liked Danny's build up a little bit more though. Like everything that led up into the drop. Like yeah, like the whips here are like proper. But it's nothing that makes me go wow. Like at the most important part of the, the song, I'm not like wow right now. Where like with Night Shift's drop. You wanna call it a drop. I think the pickup is way more impactful because now we're going to straight into like longer strings of tech where like with Danny we get into we get into that like we pick it up like at that like that mid part of the drop I just felt like the way that Night Shift went into it was a lot more impactful. Even though Night Shift had like an odd, I don't know, his, his the, the decision to go through like tuts and all these like pieces of, of tech is just kind of odd. So then it becomes, okay, like do I, do I value that, that initial pickup over the odd placements of concepts in the song but then like with Danny Danny's ending I thought I mean well I would actually match their 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 middle and endings except there's a part in Danny's show at the ending where like it changes pace and he's just kind of just lingering in the tech like I want to see more than just tech like I want to see high value how high value filler moves there was also an odd 45 degree turn in the middle of Danny's sequence that looked out of place. Was it that one? Like right here, it's, it feels odd. The selection of concepts at this part of the song. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of misalignments on Danny's end in terms of execution. Like, like I feel like, oh man, this is this is the level of execution moving that fast with like all the the whole dial and cluster style is like really high caliber. Where like with Night Shift's show, I don't think there's quite a lot of moves that are that hard to execute they're just really nice placements and nice uh he likes to play within the forms a little bit more in terms of presentation i think night shift had nicer presentation in terms of space and i think that might be what 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 took him the dub i will not be choosing a winner by the way i do not choose winners but if if, if i were to guess those are probably that's probably the story of this battle I think that there were more impactful movements in Night Shift's show than Danny's. Even though Danny had a more complex uh, connection-based style, and honestly, I think it just comes down to, like, pacing. I think 
because of the night shift's use of space and his the impacts in the move, like that's enough to to secure him the win. Even though I feel like Danny's potential is much higher. It's just how he chooses to place these movements is, I think, one of the biggest struggles. That and some parts of musicality. For, for some reason, I'm not buying the performance. Like, there's something about Danny Shows where I don't buy the performance. You know? It's got to come off more naturally, I think. If it's these 45s, I don't think the 45s are that bad. I think it's just come closer to the camera because we're in like this mid range for majority of the show. We're not really like, we're not really treating the uh, camera like as an audience, you know, kind of just there in that mid section the whole entire time. 